three cover. I've got a good turn if I could stay in posture instead of standing up. So you, you want to stay stay a little bit more posture. So what what's been your uh, what do you think you're going to gain by staying in better posture, or what are you hoping to? Uh, well, not standing up and maybe I, I'm losing power. So I'm losing power. Why or where or how, but to me that is, uh, yeah. Because once I'm up, then I'm losing the power of my legs. Yeah. So the legs, and specifically the front side, is going to be where we're trying to like load everything off of. So if you, if you kind of stand up and you know we lift this leg and kind of lose tension with it, then that could be that waste of motion versus kind of keeping that down there. Moving off of that, well now we've got something that's still there so that we can use our legs to swing through. So that's where we did the band around your knees yeah. to kind of work on keeping it like that. But at the same time, you've got some great motion. So there's a balance between this like restriction and allowing the motion to you know, create a stretch. So right now there's motion, not much stretch. We're going to do drills where it probably feels like restriction and not much motion. We're going to try to balance it. Is that, is that what you think? That's exactly where I was going. And I was trying, instead of going here, just to try just a little bit of a, you know, lead with the grip, so to say, or just a little fishtail out of there, to get his shoulders to start doing some more work. And if we can get that, he'll have more extension and a bigger turn and he won't, you know, stop moving forward. So, you know, we just got to work on the posture. Okay, so do you think his, uh, his posture and changing that has an effect on him standing up? I don't know yet. Okay, so we probably shouldn't change it until we, you know, because you're, you're wanting to feel like you got more legs not standing up as much. Correct. So we should focus on, Right. we should focus on that. And just see, let's see if we can stay on the ground a little more and swing. See what happens. Okay. Because here's what it comes down to. I played over at Woodhaven. Yeah. It's a ridiculously short course. Yeah. Okay? I missed 15 birdie putts and I shot a 70. Wow. But I hit a 222. Uh -huh. If I could get that to 240, then almost every course turns into a short course for me. Yeah. I never hit any, I, I never hit even a 7 iron yet. When I play at my course, I'm hitting my hybrids into half the holes, which I'm able to do, but I sure as hell would rather hit a seven or a nine iron into it. And I have about X number of years left where either I can increase my drives and make me more consistent because I don't have to scramble when I hit a hybrid into that long par four and I miss the green and I have to get up and down or I increase my drives and all of a sudden this game is so much easier. Yeah, yeah it is. So, uh, it, it's, there's, there's, yeah, there's a reason why Bryson works tirelessly now just hitting drivers hard and you know, increasing his max speed and learning what things are distance so that maybe a wide open hole, like, okay, I can use a few of these power elements or the short hole, okay, 220 is fine here. You know, but you have those options. Right. So. Yeah, well, it, it, it's worth a try. Yeah, uh, so so we're gonna learn, and you're gonna help us with it too. Of, okay, this feels more powerful to me. Let's try that, and then let's talk about why, it, why it might or might not work, and let's let's see where the leaks are. Like, you know, lifting this up and standing up, you're losing this connection here. So we'll we'll address some of those and see. Okay. Now, do you want more separation between the top and the bottom, or? Get the shoulders to do more work on the back swing or what? No, because the shoulders and everything is going back further than the than the legs can can it needed to be can yeah. balance it right. Right. So now we're just working on balancing the that so that we're always feeling like we're keeping that rubber band taut. Exactly. Where when I get out of posture. Let it go. I'm, I'm losing it. Yep, exactly. Uh,
same person. And by the way, I didn't know you were a gun for hire. I played in a tournament last oh. week, I have to tell you. And it was cannabis based. So every other hole, they were either giving hits on a bong, oh, giving geez. samples, or alcohol. Is, it, is, it, is this a him? CV, CV can or something like that? I, I think it was Kai, Kai I don't know, the, it was at our course at Desert Hot Springs. So oh, I got word. in for free, That's you know, funny. we played. Right. But the winners, it was gross. <laughs> gross. Split a thousand dollars. Whoa. I told my two pros, they of course knew about it, so their course, they almost shit a brick. They couldn't, and second place was 500. Wow. Nobody gives away cash prizes, you know, and she yeah. must have taken a bath, the, the woman who put it on. No, of course, they lose their amateur status, too. No. We were 10 Not under. Not anymore? Only if it's 750. This is a thousand split between four. four. Oh, I thought it was a thousand. No, no. So we were 10 under, and I got to hit two shots. You know, and so got help from one player and got no help from the, the third player. And I thought 10 under was good. I knew it wouldn't win, and, and the winner was 17 under. But, you know, and all it takes is one or two people who can hit 300 yards, and then we're all hitting wedges into almost every hole. Yeah. It is. Yeah. No, I am a gun for hire. <laughs> <laughs> He played our course and we hit every hole we're hitting from the back of the green, behind the green. <laughs> Do you know it's just as tough from behind the green as it is in front? I think it's tougher. <laughs> yeah. you come down and you're standing tall and you're open already, and there's nothing behind it to hit with. So we're trying to stay here so that you can now just from here, turn through. So let's get up to the top of your swing. Good. Now, start start to swing from there. Good. So you're you're now just boom. So you you get into that transition to here, and then now from there. All right. So you feel a little more. Now you got something to move with. Okay. Miss it in there a little bit. Yeah. So do you understand the feeling we're trying to get to? Yeah. Okay. So we'll just take a few swings to try to work that out. Nice. One thirty-two. Thirty-three. Hi. There, 90. There we go. Nice. Good. So you came in really close there. Now you got now you got something to rotate with. Let's keep doing it. Put out. There you go. Just like that. Now crunch it. Good. And again. All right. Good. Good. So challenge yourself on like how closed you can get here with this and still get back to square and like hitting it. Okay. That's what I, that's what I try to do. If I get too far open, well then there's no power there. But if I work on getting as close as I can, now the whole swing exercise is move this to there. Yes. Yep. Exactly.
but your angle of attack and club path both got closer to neutral. As we get more open, we start to hit down more, we start to hit more left. So keep trying to get more closed. You can still go another three degrees more. Yes. There we go. That's solid. And it feels solid. Good. Feels like you have a little more power, a little more ground now. Right. Awesome. Good. All right, take a little break. A little break. No. Yeah. Oh, the, the Take another swing sideways one. This way? Either way, but side side view. So when I when I get down to this position where we're landed, now I'm landed this way, closed, and that actually helps me go backwards, right? That's the See load. where his butt is going? His butt is going back. Whereas if you're standing up. Well, that, that's always going to go cool. So your swing standing up is like this. Right. But we're trying to get down and then use that position where, okay, that's as far as we can go. Now we're going to work. Got, got open. So it's like the early stand up open move versus the taking another second in the backswing to just get back down. Exaggerated. Much better. Yeah, we need a 95. We'll get there. This is this is looking a lot better. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Get to the top of the back swing again. So by the time we get to the top of the back swing, you should already be on the front side. So get shift your way to the front. Good. Now from there, it's it's like front and down, where it's really in here. Yep, you're in close. You're as close as possible. You start swinging, and then you rotate as much as you can here to get back to square. So so that only changes. Get up to the back swing and back into that front side and closed. Using the core, rotate. Good, yes, front side, there you go.
Four pens to get that feeling. It's not going down. Yeah. Let's see who's good in here. Take it back again. Take it back again. Now, before you do anything here, start going that way. No. That one. No. There. There. Not here, because that opens you up. Got it. I actually, I, I actually feel it forwards. Like I'm pushing this foot forwards. So it's, I'm getting here and I'm pushing, pushing this one forwards. And you're going this way. Because when I push this forwards, then it opens me back. So you, back so you, you see how that's going to open you up so yeah. quickly? Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to get as close as I can and then yeah. open me up. Before you turn, go down. Right, in there. While you're still closed, while your shoulders are still back, drop. Right. That was more of it. 91, and 230. We got to. There we go. So, you're closed right now. That's when you drop, when you're still closed. You don't open up too early. Throw it away. <laughs> oh, yeah, just has some, some screen on it. <laughs> What? Has some screen on it. Did he? No, we got to change that. Yeah, so it's. Not bad. If it's overswing, it's overswing a little bit on the on the way back where you, you know, you're trying to hit it hard right from here. Instead, give it another second to get there right. and then hit it hard. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Good, and we'll we'll keep getting the timing better and better. So take it back again and stop. Now that way. You like that whole side is going down. Don't close. Don't open. Down. Yeah. Yeah. So, so good. Go down. Good. There. Now from there. This goes back, so this turns back, so that goes forward. Down. Down, so I'm pushing this forward. So that's what it feels like. And that's what allows me to turn. Good. So pulled it a little bit, yeah. which means you can get more closed and still trust your ability to open and hit it square. Okay. Stomach. So that one was 
That one was more square. A little bit of a missed it. They moved it around again. <laughs> Always updating. Yes. You better play with it. It's keeping your mind young. Yes. <laughs> That's not easy. No. Nope. Good. So still, still fold it a little. Do you, remember, do you remember we talked about this? This was your lesson yesterday. Mm -hmm. by, the, by the top of the swing, you need to be back on your front side. Because from there, now you're closed, and that's when the swing and the effort starts. Oh, well, you'll react. Yeah, if you're not, you're already yeah. you're on your back foot, and you can't do anything from here. No. So it really does feel yeah. like you're stepping forward. Yeah. Just yeah. To try a little step forward. Just a practice swing. Take it back. Step forward. Just pick up your foot and no, step forward a little bit. Just forward, not not towards the target. Set up, set up, set up. Set up where I go. Now feel the the step forward just a little bit. Well, he's not opening up as fast as he did. Man. Nope. So and that's good. Yep, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there, and then it, it's kind of unloading a little bit over here versus, yeah, now, now once, once you get there and close, then you can push back. Something that I use, but good to work on core. Sam, you're messing around with my thing. You got it backwards. There you go. <laughs> I'm not messing with it. All right. So this is uh, basically an impact bag. So it's got resistance through it. Okay, so you can turn with the velcro side onto it. Now, work on getting closed before you hit it, and then use power, core, to get through it. <laughs> you gotta hover it. Good. So, so this is training you to, you know, because it's such a heavy impact, Right. That is training you to learn how to brace for it and, and use it. You know, you can't just do this into this type of thing. Good. Exaggerate the down. Exaggerate that closed feeling. Not going to hurt anything here. Sam, how do we... Uh, just hit the space bar to record the video. 
Hmm? Hit space bar to record the video when he swings? Yes, yes. Okay. Still, still forwards a little bit. So okay. instead of drifting forwards, you're push, pushing yourself backwards. Okay. So you're drifting forwards, we want to push ourselves backwards. Okay. 